All right, 132 folks, as we uh, start looking this week at Unit 4, the thing is, is we're going to be looking at uh, what they call Woodrow Wilson, or actually President Wilson's 14-point speech. Um, you, you need to know a little bit of background about Wilson before we start looking at this speech. You know, Wilson, we already know, is a progressive. We know that he is going to win the presidency when it, it is a break between um, Taft and um, his predecessor, uh, Roosevelt. And the thing is, is Woodrow Wilson is a progressive. Woodrow Wilson, well, at least in name. Uh, what he wants is he wants to make a, a better America. What you have to know about him is, although he is going to promote this uh, idea of reaching out and helping and making things better, um, he, he's not exactly um, egalitarian. Um, he has some racist ideas that, that he keeps with him throughout his life. Um, he, so he is not about everything being equal. He is just about helping uh, another group of people. Um, he is going to run as president, and while he's running for president, we know that Europe is starting to break up. Uh, we know that Europe is having some issues with wars, and we're going to head into World War I at this particular point. And what's going to happen is, is we're going to label this a European war. Um, really, it is. We, we start off with uh, Prussia facing off uh, against France. And with um, Russia, at this point, because it's still Russia, facing off uh, against uh, some of its minor neighbors, but because of a series of interlocking treaties in Europe, um, once one person lights that match and touches off this powder keg, <clears throat> everything is going to blow up at this particular point. Um, but it's Europe. And so what's going to happen is this. Wilson is going to go ahead and he is going to campaign under the idea that he's going to keep us out of the war. All right? This, this is a European war. It's not an American war. We're not going to be involved in it. And then what will happen is this, is that we will trade with both sides. And that's going to get us into a little bit of trouble. And eventually, we're going to come to the realization, and I won't talk about it here, but we're going to come to the realization that we're going to have to fight. And so what Wilson is going to do is he wants to be reelected, and he is reelected under the idea that he's going to keep us out of this war. And what will happen is this. He's going to realize that he can't keep us out of the war, but what he wants to do in true progressive fashion is he wants to go save the world. He wants to save the world um, for humanity. He wants to save it for democracy. But what he wants to do, he wants to save it as a progressive. So what he's going to do is, a pro, is uh, approach this in, in a very, well, scientific fashion. Um, rather than being drug into this war, like the you know promo says here, um, he's going to decide to go into it for reasons, and he's going to make sure it's the right reasons. And so what he's going to do is he's going to put to co together a committee. He's going to put together a group of learned people who know about politics, who know about the world, who know about the rights and the wrongs, who know, <clears throat> at least scientifically, what needs to be fixed, and then they're going to design a plan. He's going to take this plan, which is called his 14 points, and he is going to uh, approach not only Congress, but he's going to approach the rest of the world. And what he's going to do is he's going to give this speech with his reasons and the reasons on um, what's wrong with the world, the reasons on how to fix what's wrong with the world. And this is his 14 point speech. Um, very simply, that we can't get into a war unless we have the right permissions to actually go ahead and stage a full-on war. He's going to have to have uh, the consent of Congress at this particular point. And so he's trying to convince Congress, but also he's trying to convince the nation. Um, he needs their backing to have a successful war. And he wants, actually, believe it or not, he wants to reach out to Europe and say, hey, look, Here's a sensible plan. Y'all have blown the hell out of yourselves at this particular point. Here's a new approach. Here's a new idea. And this new idea is about creating a long-lasting peace. And so you're going to see several different elements. And you look at these different elements, you go, hmm, well, that might work. But the problem is, is he is... Um, looking at this from the outside, not the inside. 
Um, the problem is, is the progressives learn early on, it's difficult to go and change from the outside. You've got to have cooperation to change it, and you've got to recognize the differences. Wilson really can't see what they're fighting about. He can't see the differences. All he knows is he wants to establish order and make the world safer democracy again. The problem is, is his approach to it. So take a look at his 14 points. He's got some reasonable points. Um, what he wants to do is he wants to roll things back. He wants to go ahead and um, eliminate this uh, agenda of um, imperialism. He wants to uh, eliminate this uh, agenda of forming colonies. The problem is, is we have our own colonies. We have our own imperialist agenda, and he's trying to assign this to other countries, to other people, to tell them how to settle their war. Um, we're going to get involved. We're going to make a, a difference. But uh, what I want you to see is Wilson's uh, approach. Uh, let me know what you think is right about it, what you think is wrong about it. And, you know, you're a 21st century uh, thinker. If you don't think he's right on it, what would you adjust? What would you fix? What would you change um, if you were this Wilson um, to create a, a better likelihood of it working? And I will leave you here to take a look.